Taking a $37 million jet airplane from about 200 miles an hour to zero in a matter of seconds safely is most definitely not for the faint of heart, especially in the pitch black darkness out at sea. No matter how much you train or how much you think about it, that heartbeat just starts picking up and then drilling a rush every single time. Day or night, around the clock, that's what the new USS George H.W. Bush crew is doing this week, carrier qualifications. It's hard work, but a heck of a lot of fun for the entire Bush team after years tied up at the pier during the construction phase. Finally, the sailors are where sailors want to be, out to sea. Now it feels good because we're actually contributing towards fleet readiness and that we are now qualifying uh, student pilots and uh, uh, fleet pilots that before they get to their first uh, fleet squadron. I'm actually excited now since we're out to sea. I get to do my job, uh, actually get to control aircraft airborne uh, instead of being in a shipyard. Bush leaders say despite some well-chronicled construction glitches, all is going well now for the vessel and her sailors. What do you love best about this ship so far? The crew, the people working together, the team effort. From the beginning, it's been one big team. 